Hello friends, my name is Kaushal Kumar from Kaushal Kumar LLC. In this video, I will talk about the steps required to install Visidial on a dedicated machine. This installation requires to have a DVD room in your machine to board the install disk. You can also use a thumb drive to install Visidial. For that, you will need to create a bootable USB for VisiBox installer. That is a whole different tutorial I have covered in another video. To prepare the install disk, you will have to burn this disk with VisiBox ISO. The download links for the VisiBox ISO is on my blog. For your convenience, I will leave the direct download links in the description below. To initiate the installation process, you must boot from the install disk. To do this, you should go to the BIOS and change the boot order to boot the CD-ROM. Once the disk boots, you will see a screen like this. Once you see a screen like this, select VisiBox version 8, press enter. So it will start the installation process. It will take some time, so we have to wait. Now we are on a VisiBox 8 login page. So on this page, you'll have to type in the default username, that is root. Hit enter. And the password is Visidial, that's V-I-C-I-D-I-A-L. When you type the password, you'll notice that it does not appear here. And don't worry about that, just press enter. Now you see that we are logged in, and the first command that we'll type here is OS minus install. So this command will initiate the OS installation process. Press enter. So now we are at live installer of VisiBox 8. Once you see the screen like this, you can press F10 to go to next screen. You can also press Alt and N together for the same purpose. The next screen will ask you to set up your clock and time zone. So you can use the arrow keys to select your region. For this installation, I will select USA. I'll press tab to set my time zone. And for this installation, I will set it as uh, Eastern New York. So once we are working with the configurations here, we'll press F10 again to go to next screen. This screen will give you a partition suggestions. By default, Visidial installer will suggest you a uh, partitioning. So we'll simply accept that. Press F10 for the next screen. This screen will ask you to set up a password for root user. So you can uh, create a password for root user. Let's do that right away. Press tab, type the password again. and press F10 for the next screen. This screen will give you a preview of what's going to change system-wise. We will simply accept that and we'll press F10 to start the install process. This is the installation confirmation screen. Press tab and press enter. So we see that the installation is going on for the operating system required to port Visidial. Now we see that the installation has finished. You, it also says that you have to eject the CD that you have in the tray. Once you do that, press tab and press enter to reboot your system. Reboot is complete and we will start the second phase of installation. For that, we'll select the first option and press enter. Now we are at the login screen. We'll type the username, that's root. And we'll type the password that we have done during the first part of installation. So 
So we are logged in. Type in the command vcbox minus express. This command will install vcdial and all its dependencies. It will configure everything for you. Press enter. It will ask you to press Y or N. That stands for yes or no. Press Y and press enter. So you see that everything is being installed, everything necessary to run the Vistadile. So all packages and everything will be installed and configured accordingly. The installation is complete. It says system should be installed. Please type reboot to cleanly load everything. Just type in reboot and press enter. Once you do that, system will reboot and it will load everything cleanly. The system is rebooted. We are on the login screen. So we'll type in the login user, that's root, and the root password. We are logged in now. If you want to change the IP address of your server, you can type in yast space lan. However, we will not cover this tutorial here. I have covered this instructions in a different video. For now, you can type in if config, press enter, and this command will display your IP address. We'll put the IP address on the browser. So in my case, that's 144.202.103.237. We'll press enter. This screen confirms that installation is successful. The first step is to do the initial setup of Visidile that I'll cover in a different video. If you need Visidile hosting for your business, you can head over to our website. We offer Visidile hosting in four continents and 15 locations. Our pre-installed Visidile server used SSD and are fast, reliable, and highly secured. The servers are directly under the supervision of Visidile professionals in our team. When you sign up, use this coupon code for 10% discount for life. Our servers are in different hardware configurations and are very affordable. Thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, like the video and subscribe my channel for more tutorials on Vestidal. So let's meet on my next video.